Good morning. My name is John. It's a Tuesday morning here in the UK. And today I'd like to talk to you about a social media kit on and through our Polaris Marketing Training Group. But first of all, it's been a very traumatic time for a lot of us guys out there worldwide. And I really want to extend my love to everybody, support, and to say, let's get through this, guys. It's been traumatic for many people. Stay safe, look after ourselves, and think positive. Today, I want to touch on a social media kit, which is an important element of the way for marketers to get online, but also to embrace some of the key skills that they need to have to give themselves the best chance of success. Ultimately, it's very, very important that you employ a good plan to give yourselves the opportunity to achieve what you want to achieve and also to achieve something that you can measure and improve upon as well. The biggest reason to have a social media kit is for you to showcase who you are and what you're about. So it's telling people about you and why they should engage with you. In boring language, a media kit is a digital portfolio that tells people what they need to know about you. Social media kits are a nice, tidy way to showcase your work, highlight your achievements, and impress people who are interested in collaborating with you. Within the Polaris Limited group, just look at the portfolio you could showcase. You can showcase all of it, part of it, individual items. It's ready-made and it's good to go and it's ready to use. For those of you that participate in this group, you will understand that there are many aspects to this and you can pick and choose what you want to do as well. As I mentioned, you can take each element individually or put them together. It's entirely up to you. Social media ingredients. So I'm going to take one of them and it's called Eureka Move. You know, we've got the Polaris <clears throat> banner, the, you know, the, the organization under which there's the, <coughs> excuse me, the Eureka coin, the Eureka ecosystem, the Eureka blockchain, <clears throat> the Eureka exchange. We've got My Passive Trades, Elite Profit Academy, the Chatterbox social media platform, the trading school. There are many, many, many elements to all of this. But I'm going to take Eureka Move, which is recently been launched. It's been in, in sort of work in progress the last sort of 12, 18 months. And it's come to a point now where it's ready to go onto the market. It's basically a property portal. And it's an opportunity for you to engage with for example, estate agents, agents, anyone that's basically selling properties where they are looking to, you know, get their audience out there for those properties. For example, if you go to an estate agent, they'll have all the properties identified in that portfolio in the windows and through their websites. This is an opportunity for you to, to endorse and help them with that, but to give them an opportunity to do it at a much reduced cost, but also there's an affiliate element in the background as well. So four very, very important points that I think will be of massive help um, going forward. First, get your story together, learn the product. It doesn't matter what it is, learn the product. Secondly, identify your target market. Thirdly, decide your approach. And fourth, put together a measurable plan. So these are four key points and are worth spending time on as they will set you up very, very nicely. Taking the first one. In terms of learning the product, speak with the leaders in the group, Paul Ward and Alexis Scrivia. You know, gain some valuable insight. These guys, you know, they've, they're setting this up. So they've got a, a vision. They've got a, a way of doing things. You know, tap into that knowledge. Tap into those, to that sort of expertise. But also, they'll be interested to hear what you're got, what you're doing, how you're going to do it, and together, you know, you can learn that product very, very, very well as well. Let me have a quick uh, drink of water. <clears throat> In terms of identifying your target market, research your local area, types of agents, estate agents, realtors, letting agents, managing agents. These are many, many types. So find out. What does the market look like? You know, who are the big players? Um, you know, what sort of um, cost have these guys got? This type of thing. So, again, you're just gaining and gleaning information that will help you when you put your plan together as well. 
In terms of your approach, there are two styles. One's offline and one's online. The offline really refers to research generally. So, for example, you know, through where you where you live and you know what's around you in terms of those types of people. You can do offline research through the internet, um, which means that you know you're researching, you're finding out about things. So that's no different to sort of picking up an encyclopedia or or whatever. You know, in the old days you have encyclopedias. In these days they got Wikipedia. It's still research. Technically, it's research. It's done through a, an online medium, but it's, it's essentially what I call offline research in the background. Once you've done that, then the online bit is where you've taken all that knowledge, you've put your idea together, you've decided your approach, you've identified your target market, you know, you're, you're talking to like-minded people, you then decide where you're going to go with that online if that's the route you want to take, because this can be done offline. You can still introduce yourselves to, you know, physical individuals and do it that way. So you've got plenty of scope either way. So any of these approaches, provided you've done the previous work, will give you a great platform. The work and research you complete offline will be the basis of your work online. So again, the, get the groundwork in, guys. Get on top of it, understand the product, understand where you're coming from, present yourself in such a way that it becomes attractive. So that's key. So whenever you're looking for somebody, that's probably the, one of the first things that you will look at is to see, well, actually, that sounds and looks good. Think like that, because they will be doing the same to you. The work and research you complete offline will be the base of your work online. So again, it's imperative that these two work together. It will give you that framework. The big tip is get this down all on paper. <clears throat> it needs to be something you can measure because you need to know where you're going to start, the bit in the middle and the bit in the end. So starting the task that you're going to be doing, identify the market, how you're going to approach those different people, you know, how you're going to measure it, for example. You know, it's going to be, for example, a campaign you're going to set off for a couple of months. Then, OK, then within that month or two, then you would have achieved and contacted these types of people built these types of relationships and go from there. Certainly no blast out your link. That's spam um, and any sort of platform will basically penalize you for doing that. And I see that a lot and it just disappoints me because it really is something that you shouldn't be doing. Um, and I think it doesn't look professional either because it's quite cheap. Um, so I would say consider, you know, engaging, attracting, and then talk to them about your link. Build your audience with like-minded people and, you know, and give them reasons to engage with you. And from my own personal experience, these tend to be you know, your future business associates. So that's for now. You know, give yourself the edge. You deserve it, guys. Good luck with this. Speak to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for engaging with us. And it's been great talking to you.